Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So seeing that you are watching this video on YouTube, I thought this may be a good time, if you would be interested, to show you how you can try to get better video suggestions and YouTube recommendations for the actual content that you actually want to see while using the YouTube platform. Now it goes without saying that at the end of the day, only YouTube really knows how YouTube works when it comes to the algorithm. But just a couple of suggestions to show you how you can um, kind of get the recommendations and suggestions that you actually want when it comes to the content that you want to watch and see on YouTube. Now the first is obviously hitting the like button. So if you like a video, that obviously helps out the creator. And at the end of the day, it also signals to YouTube that you want to see more of that particular content. And then another thing that goes without saying is if you subscribe to a particular channel, that's a big signal to YouTube that you like that relevant content pertaining to that channel. And then obviously um, YouTube and the algorithms will start pushing you out content that's very similar to that particular channel that you have subscribed to. So that's a couple of things you can do to watch and like the things you want to see. Now, something else you can try if you don't want YouTube recommendations to send you content for videos you don't normally watch. Now, this pertains to if maybe you are, as an example, studying or doing research, but you don't want YouTube to send you a whole lot of suggestions and recommendations on that content for your everyday viewing. So what I would suggest in this case is that you can use incognito mode or private browsing mode to avoid seeing things that you don't really want to see on a regular basis. And to do this, it's very simple. You just right click and you go open link in private window or open link in incognito mode, depending on the browser you're using. And obviously, um, what this will do is um, it won't influence YouTube and the algorithm into showing you more of this topic. And this is particularly handy if you're just trying to find out something regarding maybe homework research or just general studying. So using incognito mode uh, to avoid seeing things that you dislike and don't really want to see on a regular basis. And then something else you can try is obviously if you don't want to see more of a particular video content, then obviously hitting the dislike button is something else you can do. And this obviously signals to YouTube that you don't like um, that particular content in that video and then obviously it will tell YouTube um, to stop sending you videos pertaining to the videos that you have disliked. Now, obviously this also goes without saying that if you just do this once or twice on a particular video, it's not really gonna affect, affect things too much, but if you are keep seeing content um, that you don't want to see and view on a regular basis, then obviously disliking that video um, will signal to YouTube that obviously that is something that you don't want to see in your daily when it comes to suggestions and recommendations. And something else you can do um, to tell YouTube what you don't like and don't want to see is if I just click on a video so I can just go to another channel and this is no reflection on anybody else's channel. I'm just picking the first thing I see. What you can do is head to a YouTube um, channel or video and you hit the three dotted menu and you can click on not interested next to the icons, uh, the um, video icons uh, title. Um, and something else you can do is you can also um, hit the don't recommend channel button. That's something else you can try to do. So not interested in don't recommend channel are two things that will signal to YouTube that obviously you are not interested in that channel or that content and then it should to some extent or the other stop pushing um, the content pertaining to that channel out to your recommendations and suggestions. And another thing you can try and just to take note of really on a side note is the more YouTube shorts you watch on a particular subject have a big impact on the long form content that YouTube will send you at the end of the day and recommend and suggest to you. So just take note of that. So if you are watching random YouTube shorts all the time and the algorithm's picking up um, one particular topic when you're watching YouTube shorts, Obviously, it's going to push that out to you more frequently and on a regular basis. And then, obviously, if you are really wanting a clean slate, um, you can clean up or wipe your history. So basically, you're nuking 
your watch history. And to do this, if you want a clean slate and you want your suggestions and recommendations to start afresh and start anew, what you can do, and this will help to some extent or the other, is head to your profile, click on your data in YouTube, scroll down here on your dashboard till you get to your YouTube watch history. And if we just scroll down here a little bit, manage YouTube search history, and here we go. So here's your YouTube history. And what you can do is here's the option to delete your watch history for today. You can select a custom range and you can delete all time. So if you want to um, go full out and nuke all your watch history, delete all time, and obviously to some extent or the other, that will start your recommendations and suggestions off on a clean slate, so to speak. So that's just a couple of things. Um, as mentioned, you can try to help YouTube push you out uh, the content you want to see and watch by getting ve better video suggestions and YouTube recommendations for the content you actually want to see. And obviously this is not a comprehensive list, but I just picked a couple of so-called key highlights, everyday stuff you can try if you want to see the content you want to watch on YouTube. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.